wanted to make a video on like the curve of from the laser because when you first get a laser sometimes it's hard to work out like th what the curve is on the laser and the curve is how much material is removed when it's cutting and you can see like laser removes quite a small amount of material but if you want something to fit nice and tightly really you need to know how much you know material it's removing so I was going to show two ways of doing it because I never used to use uh, calipers or anything like that much so one way to do it if you haven't got calipers and this way gives you an exact measurement is if you draw out like a square it's the McDonald's I did print these out before I haven't used these in a long time but it's handy if you don't have no calipers so what you do is like your material whatever you're going to use then you just put it in these slots and just see what one it fits well into you can see that's not close there I'm going to go along these that's starting to get tight there yeah and you can see f four millimeters is a nice fit what I would do is you know if I wanted this wood to slot I would cut that exactly at four millimeters and then like I say your kerf has already been cut off here because the laser's already been round there it's already removed that material so you'll see if I measure this measure this here it's probably about 4.4 yeah, you can see it's right around 4.4. I mean, with these, like I say, you could just test any material. It's the same. If you're doing something like acrylic, really, you want to just make sure you remove some of the paper because you'll get a different reading. Because if I do this now, acrylic's tight there at 4.2 with the paper on. But without the paper, it just falls right through there. So you want to make sure you remove the paper and then you can see about 3.8 is where it's going to be a tight fit <laughs> but I would definitely recommend just getting some calipers these are only cheap ones there is a silver set that I've got somewhere that's only a, probably a $20 and they're a little bit better than these but these are the ones I picked up so, so if you don't know how to use calipers all you do is once you turn it on you just you switch it on you close it up and now you can see it I don't it hasn't gone back to zero so all you do is you don't want to force it up there just push it till they touch and then just say zero so now this is zeroed out and then what I would do is yep so with the wood as I measure the I'd measure my piece of wood you can see that's right around 4.4 .4. and then if I knock Point 0.2 off for each side it would give me the four millimeters so each each cut you're losing point 0.2 or I am on my laser I mean this is an 80 watt if you've got a more powerful laser or so really you have to work out your curve so, I mean you can see there if it's mine if it's cutting at four millimeters you can see here if I actually measure that it's right around 4.4 millimeters really because I've lost the 0.2 of a millimeter either side so like I say when you're using the calipers you haven't lost that so you have to work that out but that's all you have to do is when you measure it like I say it's 4.4 I'll just lose 20 off of this side and 20 off the other side when I cut it so instead of 4.4 it's going to be the four millimeters and then that way when I go to the machine and I cut out my four millimeters and I lose my 20 either side then that's going to give me a nice tight fit and the same thing with the acrylic you can see there if I measure the acrylic it's around a 4.1 so what I'll do is take away the 20 off either side that's going to give me about 3.7 so if I cut on the laser 3.7 you'll see it's going to be pretty close you know to being tight or very tight so yeah for my laser which is an 80 watt you lose about 0.2 millimeters 
either side. So like I say, if this is telling you 4.2, you want to cut it at 3.8, or like this one. I mean, if it's 4.4, you're going to be cutting it at 4 millimeters, which will give you a decent fit. And then this one, I'll measure that at 4.1. Take my 40 from that, so 3.7. That is quite a tight fit. That is the nice thing with these gauges sometimes that you can test fit it. So that's a bit tight, and that one's a little bit loose. I mean, you could do 3.75, and you'd have, you know, one right in the middle. If you're using one material a lot, you might be best, you know, really to. Cut one of these just with three or four sizes right around that material, and then you can just double check. But I mean, that works. Calipers are the best, yeah. Hopefully, it can help someone out. But I do recommend getting calipers, and that way, you can measure anything with that, and then you just get used to using these. But if you haven't got any and you need to, you know, make a nice fitting slot, you can do it like this. I mean, you can make these any numbers and the slot any size like so all I recommend is leave a bit of space between them even maybe a little tiny bit more than that if, you know if you don't mind losing a little bit so I've got a three inch by six inch square don't really need to be this big but you need you know you want to get a bit of writing and stuff on there what I do is if your material that you're going to be working with like a lot of my materials are around about four millimeters thick thick so what to do is, I change this to millimetres, I'm going to make this one 3.8 millimetres and then I'm going to go to the array tool, a couple less than that and just make the spacing a little bit more. Um, so you know the top one's 3.8 and now you've got your other one so what you do is select the next one and change that for a 9 up the top here so now that one's 3.9 and then this one make it 4 millimeters this one 4.1 so now I've got a 3.8 3.94 4.1 4.2 so just so I know which is which I would write in here 3.8 So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible.